Ah, oh, suck it, suck it now. Listen, I wish my mama was paying my rent for a luxury apartment when I was 22 years old. See, I've been working since I was 14 years old, so I cannot relate, okay? The headline here says that Wendy Williams' son, whose name is Kevin Hunter, he's 22 years old. He just got evicted from his Miami apartment over owing $70,000 or somewhere around that amount in rent. First thing I got to ask myself is what does Kevin Hunter do for a living? Because my mama has laid the foundation. I'm talking about Wendy. She has laid the foundation for you to be able to study. You don't have to worry about going to work to help mama pay the bills. Like I had to do when I was 14 years old, I started packing bags at Winn-Dixie, taking people's groceries out to their cars, getting my little tips and stuff just to help my mama pay the light bill, right? Assume one of the bills. You were born into having money. Your mama had a lot of money by the time you were born and grown up. So how come you didn't go to school? How come you didn't get a degree from some prestigious university? How come you did not earn a or learn a skilled trade and open a business? How come you didn't do jack shit with yourself except for being the son of Wendy Williams? I don't understand it. But anyhow, listen, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for coming back to Hot Topics TV. And y'all already know if the topic is hot, <laughs> we're on it. Okay, so Wendy Williams' son, Kevin Hunter. Let's not forget the last Wendy Williams story we covered um, was uh, two days ago. And that was her ex-husband, this Kevin's daddy. His daddy can't pay his bills either. And his daddy is about to be in foreclosure. And his daddy is in the courts asking the courts to please save me. <laughs> please save my house. Please help me. Wendy stopped the bag and I'm about to go into foreclosure. Mind you, that's the same house he's living in with the woman that he cheated on Wendy with and lost his marriage. That he had a side baby on Wendy with while he was married. So Wendy's supposed to be taking care of all these people. We got to ask who the hell is taking care of Wendy. Anyways, Wendy Williams son, Kevin Hunter, 22 years old. He was evicted from his Miami apartment in September. According to documents that were obtained by people. They've been keeping it quiet because right now we are in November. Mid no we are in November right now, right? Ah, shit, we're in December. So Kevin been evicted since September. News just coming out. According to a legal filing, Hunter owed $70,000 in unpaid rent and was faced with the eviction notice in August of 2022 after failing to pay rent since February. God damn. This is what the U.S. Sun was first to report on the news. Hunter was served with the official eviction summons in August and he responded that same month by saying that his mom paid a full year's rent up front starting in March of 2021 with her intention being to actually purchase that apartment at the end of the lease. So they were going to lease it out for a year. And at the end of the lease. If he likes living in that location. They would have purchased it. The 22 year old. Says that he signed the lease. On his mama's behalf. At her request. He then described how his mother's health issues. Affected his ability. To pay his own rent. Uh, mm, your mama got sick. And you as an adult male can no longer pay your rent because your mama got sick. That sounds like a college student problem. That sounds like your child is 17, 18, fresh out the house. He is in college, had a little apartment down the road, can't even manage to keep his bills up. So he's about to be evicted. Okay, come on, son, move on back home. You're 22 years old. I'm, I would really like to know what his qualifications are. Because this is a real mama's boy. He's still on titties. He's still got breast milk squirting out the side of his mouth. Because mama's still taking care of him. 
as the lease approached the end, my mom went through some health issues that put the court in control of her finances. This is what he said. This is his excuse for not being able to pay his own rent. All of this happened suddenly and all of the financial support that she always gave me, it just stopped, including my housing. What the hell? So in February of 2022, people reported that he claimed in a letter to the courts that his mama's bank, Wells Fargo, had denied her any access, whether online or otherwise, to her own financial accounts, assets, and statements. According to her filings, the action was based on the advice of Williams, former financial advisor Lori Schiller that Williams was of a unsound mind. Now, I've never heard of anything like this before because people who have a couple hundred dollars in the bank, you could lose your mind batshit crazy out in the streets. You could be walking around with shit dripping down your legs. You could just be walking around farting and pissing on yourself. They don't give a damn about your little $1,200 in the bank, your little $700. You could actually walk in the bank. I've seen this before and I'm not, I kid you not, I saw a man walk into the bank with doo-doo running down his legs, okay? He was in deplorable condition. And, never, and there was a young lady that was with him. And they walked right up to that check cash teller, whatever person behind that glass, and got some money out and left the bank. And a lot of people were in there laughing because she was known as a local prostitute. And he was known to be getting a check from the government, but he'll cash his check out and he'll give her some of the money. So I'm, I say that to say this, the bank does not care if you got a little bit of money. So why should they care if you got a whole lot of money? It's still your money, right? Anyhow, they held on to Wendy's money, which was true. And it was, you know, a big deal. They claimed they were trying to protect her. But Wendy says though, what's happening is, they're actually taking out her money, stealing from her. The bank in its filings in court said that it froze the funds because Wells Fargo has strong reason to believe that Wendy Williams is the victim of undue influence and financial exploitation. In other words, she is ill and she was in a place where she wasn't thinking too good by herself. She wasn't able to, whether she was highly medicated or she was delusional, going through some, you know, psychological issues at the time or whatever, she was not able to take care of herself on a cerebral level. And there were people around her that were taking advantage of her. Some people said that her son was also one of them. But Wendy came out and said that he wasn't. Wendy said, leave my damn money alone. I worked hard for my money. You guys are making this stuff up. Now I have to go see all these people, psychiatrists, psychologists, and all that just to prove to you that I am okay mentally to take care of my own money that I earned and put into your bank. That makes no damn sense. Anyhow, it did not specify, it did not specify who or what was exploiting or unduly influencing Williams. That's all it said. Hunter agreed to continue paying his rent month to month, according to the landlord's filings, but he also failed to do so. This led to the $69,600 to be exact back rent that was owed. He added, I had to pause my education for a full academic year because of COVID and to care for my mom. Even though my name is on the lease, my mom was the one that was paying the rent and for my medical and legal reasons and for medical and legal reasons, she has not been able to pay the rent for the past couple of months since the year lease ended and the court has control of her finances. Okay, so now I get a full gist of this. So he, he is in school somewhere. Okay, he's in school somewhere. I, 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 I take that back, but still, goddammit, go get a part-time job. Shit, things happen. 
But you know, he said he had to take care of his mom and all that. Wendy got enough money to have good people around her to take care of her. Go get a job. Go try to be independent somehow. You are not qualified as any medical personnel or whatever. So what kind of taking care of her are you going to be taking care of her? I'm just saying. Anyhow, I don't think any job is available out there to him anyways that would be able to pay this rent because obviously... Young Kevin is living in luxury. So for the past several months, Hunter said that he's been back and forth between states, checking on his mom's well-being, and he ends the statement filed on August 29th by saying that he secured a different, temporary place to live, and he planned on moving out anyways of the apartment within a seven-day period. In response to Hunter's statement, the plaintiff requested an evidentiary hearing on damages and in mid-september the final judgment of eviction was entered against hunter by the court at the end of the summer williams wendy williams who's 58 years old she entered a wellness and facility and she is seeking help as she hopes to manage her overall health issues she everybody knows now wendy is going through some things okay she taking care of time. She's taking some time to focus on her health and wellness as she prepares for a major comeback for the next level of her career with the Wendy Experience podcast. And I said in the last move in the movie, as I said in the last video before, I said Wendy's podcast is going to blow the hell up. There will be multi million dollars on the table, contracts on the table, or deals or offers on the table. Because it's Wendy Williams. A press release from her publicist, Sean Zanotti, stated at the time, now Miss Williams is being treated by a team of some of the best doctors in the world, and we ask for your prayers and your well wishes during this time. In October, she left the facility. We're happy to report that Wendy is home and she's healing after being in the wellness facility since August. Zanotti told this to the people to people in a statement. Now, Wendy is excited about the roads ahead and she's looking forward to releasing her many projects. Thank you to my fans for your love, support, and your many priors. Williams added in a statement at the time, I am back and I'm better than ever. Now, earlier this year, Wendy's ongoing health concerns kept her from returning to hosting the Wendy Williams show, which was delayed twice before Leia Remini stepped in to guest host. Other stars were later tapped to do the same, same including Michael Rappaport, Whitney Cunningham, Jerry Springer. Sherry Shepard proved to be a fan favorite among the guest hosts, even scoring season high ratings during her initial stint last November. It was later announced that the 54 year old was given her own namesake talk show, Sherry, that would take over Wendy Williams' program time slot. With that said, Williams' own show concluded, ended, after more than a decade on air. So, Wendy obviously had plans to come back. You know, I'm going to beat this thing, whatever it is, get my health stuff under control, go back to work, and start getting my money again. But, you know, they say when you have plans, God got other plans. So she planned all that and she still wasn't able to come back. To be honest with you, I think that divorce hit Wendy Williams so hard that she went into a downward spiral. Now, this ain't me just saying this. There's information out there that says she started drinking a lot and she started uh, started back doing illicit drugs. I don't know what that is. Powdering her nose, maybe over smoking too much marijuana. I don't know what it is. Uh, but given the condition of her health prior, adding alcohol and an abuse of alcohol to it caused her health issues to start to flare up and then go out of whack. She was hurt. She gave more than 20 years to Kevin in that marriage. And the way she was done publicly, being who she is, Wendy Williams, you know, you're a famous person. It's okay when a somebody who is not known is cheated on. You can handle that shame privately. 
But when you're in a public eye and everybody gets to see your husband off with some little young chick and then get to find out that she's driving your cars, she's spending your money, she's getting put up in luxury apartments and condos and houses. He purchased a luxury home in an exclusive neighborhood using Wendy's money to do so. I believe the home was like 700 and something thousand dollars or some shit like that. Some crazy stuff. But when people get to see all that and the whole world is laughing at you, your world starts to become very small. You start to feel like the whole world's caving in on you and she, she didn't handle it too good. You know what I mean? Some people handle that type of stuff by going out and finding someone else to be with, becoming a serial dater. Um, some people start becoming promiscuous. Some people drink a lot. Some people go to counseling and therapy. Some people go back on drugs if they had drug issues before. And we know that Wendy has a past with drugs by her own admission. You understand? So she didn't take all that stuff too good. But back to her son. He's another one who's dependent on Wendy as well. And just like his daddy, who's about to lose his house to foreclosure, so is this young man. He just got evicted from his apartment, his luxury Miami apartment, and mm, because of mama's health issues. Anyhow, leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one, and I'll catch you on the next video. It's Hot Topics TV. Y'all already know if the topic is hot, we're on it. I'm out. Peace.